Hey, how's it going over there? Doing good. An excellent uh, rendition of the Mangione hit earlier, by the way. Oh, thank you. Very good. Good stuff. I was doing my little trumpet impression. I saw that, or heard that, rather. Mm -hmm. Good. Thanks. Good. Who's this? Uh, well, my type rose call me Freedom Eagle. Freedom Eagle? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and wh why do they call you Freedom Eagle? Uh, it's my DJ name. Uh, every every year on uh, 105.7 in Manahawken, mm -hmm. New Jersey, uh, the Hawk, rather. I, uh, I host the uh, top five classic rock songs of all time for Memorial Day weekend. The top five? Uh, 500. Top 500 right. classic rock songs of yeah, all I mean, time. That's just short. You know, just, that's how, how what I call it, top five, you know. Because I've been doing it for so long. Sure, you're you're kind of you're you're uh, you're a veteran. You should, know, you should know that that means five hundred. You know what? I I don't know DJ lingo like that. Uh, well. that okay, that uh, I learned something new today. So, thought I'd call in and sort of promote this weekend. You know, everybody should listen. I'm going to be awake for ninety six straight hours, playing all the hits. Top five hundred. So you so like do you have a, a like an advance uh, list that you'll be playing them from? Have you seen the 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 top five hundred? I have in fact seen the top five hundred. Yes, I'm looking at it right now. Are there any surprises on it? Oh yeah, I mean there always are, man. There always are. Now how how is this put together? Is this from the uh, the like the listenership put this together? I put it together myself. Oh, you put it together. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this, this, they they trust me. Uh, my my taste. They trust my taste. Uh, there are some surprises though. Uh, can you can you can you give us a little teaser on some of these? Mm, sure. Uh, let's see. Number fifty-two is uh, going to be uh, Tush by ZZ Top. How'd that one hit you? I probably would put that lower on the top five hundred. Well, 52, you said? Number 52, yeah. That's pretty high for uh, for Tush by ZZ Top. Number 18, Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. And conversely, that seems a little low. Well. I, I mean, look, I mean, I know you're the one who comes up with the list, and you're kind of the boss on that stuff. Number uh, 448 is uh, Bad Case of Loving You by Robert Palmer. Hmm. I guess that that seems about right. Looks like that that bad case of loving you turned out to be terminal from him, huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Like because he's passed away? Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, okay. Oh, so you, are you that kind of DJ where you do a couple like kind of zingers at the like some jokes thrown in? Yeah, I mean you know I try to spice it up. I'll go ahead and let you know. Hey, I'll, I'll give you a couple other a couple other. Guess what number five is? Number five on the list of the top of all time. Uh, hey Jude. Nope. What is it? Tall cool one, Robert Plant. Oh, hold on a minute. Tall cool one by Robert Plant is number five. You got a problem with that, Cham? I I I would say, yeah, I would say that there's no way that that's in the top. That doesn't even make the top five hundred. <laughs> Why does it make the top five? That's that's a solid jam, man. I mean, it's yeah, it's it's, it's a solid jam. Oh yeah, I, I don't understand really what the problem is you have with that. Um, I have a problem because it's I would say any Robert Plant song is is nowhere near classic <clears throat> to the point where it would be in the top. Uh, all right, well, maybe you'll agree. I see. I can't tell you what number one is because that's what people wait all weekend for. Uh huh. But I can tell you what number two is. Maybe sure. you'll. Maybe we'll agree. Okay. What's number two on this top 500 uh, classic rock hits of all time? Now, what station is this for again? Uh, this is for uh, 105.7. It's in Manahawk in New Jersey. The Hawk. They call okay. it the Hawk. Okay, and you go on and under what name on the air? Uh, Freedom Eagle. Freedom Eagle, yeah. so it's like a it's like a uh, 
an aviary theme for the for the station. Sure. All all bird related. I guess so. Yeah, eagles a lot more badass than a hawk, though. You know. Well, I mean, I guess some people think a hawk can be pretty rough, but uh, were you forced to pick that name because it's? I've been bad. my my people have been calling me the Freedom Eagle for for at least twenty years now. So it's almost a, a nice um, a nice a coincidence that that's where you're working. So a, a realization of a nickname, yeah. Uh huh. So what is the number two? Class? Number two. Number two. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you sitting down? I am sitting down. Radioactive by the firm. What? What? What is the? <laughs> what is the thing? Also, that... also Led Zeppelin related, but much better than Zeppelin. No, but it's all post Zeppelin. Why? It's the first. It's not better than Zeppelin. I mean, I could think of I could think of ten Led Zeppelin songs better than Radioactive. Well, you know. And you put this together yourself. Oh, yeah. And no one is going to call you on that. Well, what do you mean call me on it? Like anybody, any... It's it's, it's, it's in stone now. Yeah, well, okay, but management is not going to say at any point, what were you thinking putting radioactive by the firm at second on the all-time, on the all-time list? Number three is Big Log. Plant. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. What What is your fixation with, with post-Led Zeppelin solo projects? Fixation? Yeah. I'd call it, uh, I wouldn't call it a fixation. I'd call it more of a uh, justified obsession <laughs> with, with, gr- with great music. Uh-huh. And now, now it, well, here's a question for you. Is, on this top 500 list, is there any appearance from any of the, uh, from the Death Wish 2 soundtrack? No, no. Uh, well, those aren't actually, you know, they're not concise uh, songs with vocals, so they wouldn't. I, I try, I fought to get that stuff in, but it, it, it you know, they, the station put their foot down with that because they're all instrumentals, all sim- you know, synthesizer instrumentals. Uh huh. So that's the line there. That right. That stuff doesn't make the cut. Right. Because it's not, they're not actual songs. It's it's uh, soundtrack music. Yeah, and I'll tell you. I mean, I wasn't able to get that. I wasn't able to get that uh, through. But one thing, you know, uh, numbers, numbers sixteen through eight are uh, all songs from Jimmy Page's Outrider album. Wow, Jimmy Page Outrider album. That was like the solo album he put out in like the late eighties or something. 88. Okay. Yeah. And that, uh, what, what, I mean, I don't even remember anything from that album. Well, uh, the only thing I, <laughs> the only thing I can tell somebody like you is, uh, you maybe you need to listen to more music. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I need to focus more on bad, uh, bad post Zeppelin solo work. Did, uh, did that Puff Daddy song make it from the Godzilla soundtrack? It's number twenty nine. <laughs> oh my god, twenty nine! His version of uh, where he took the cashmere riff. Wow, this is some. Well, Paige, Paige joined him on stage. Yeah, I, I saw that on like the MTV Awards right. or something. That is some countdown you've got there. Well, I mean, they were let me. They let me get the entire Outrider album in. Mm-hmm. You know, but before uh, which I, I think is completely. Makes total, total and complete sense. Uh, they let you know uh, b- before number under number twenty. I was able to get all of Outrider. Wasting my time. Want to make love. Rights of Winter. The only one. Liquid Mercury. Liquid Mercury is a good jam. Hummingbird. Emerald Eyes. Well, this is, is this Prison this? Blues. That that's going to be some countdown you've got there. What is number 500 on the list, if you don't mind me asking? Like, what starts it off? What's number 500? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Strawberry Fields Forever. <laughs> that's pretty low for... Right? Wouldn't you say that's a little... Well, are you not a Zeppel- uh, not a Beatles guy? Sure, I love the Beatles, of course. But uh, a song like that doesn't rate. What's the highest rating Beatles song on the list? Highest rating? Yeah. 
Uh, well, yeah, you mentioned Hey Jude earlier, right? Uh huh. That uh, comes in around 4:48, 4:49. So you so you get the Beatles over with at the bottom, the bottom, <laughs> like the the the, the lowest ten uh, percent of the. Well, yeah, list. I had to I had to reserve fifty. 40 through 50 had to be reserved for the Honey Drippers album. Oh I mean, I, I don't have, I don't have, you know, I, I don't have so much, I don't have that much room to play around with, man. Well, it sounds like you don't, it sounds like when you fill this entire list with uh, Led Zeppelin as solo well, no, project. No, not Led Zeppelin. Well, it was Led Zeppelin's solo project. Right. Then you don't, uh, of course you don't have any room for uh, for for other things. Right, I've got to fit. Plant had numerous solo albums. You know, Page uh-huh. had Outrider. Uh, I, I, stuff's got to get in, man. It's got to get in where it belongs. In okay. the top 100. That's that's pretty amazing. Then that, but any John Paul Jones on there? Well, he was more of a producer, as you know. Yeah, but I mean, so. he's had records. Yeah, I'm not so fond of that stuff. Okay, so you're really just a page and plant guy. Right, right. Yeah. You wouldn't put anything. Oh, again, that album. Got to get that album in. Yeah, got, of know. course. Of course you, you got to get that album in. Right, that fits right in. I think they got that one in between like 25 and 35. That solo album? Yeah, page plant. Yeah. Yeah, that uh That's not it's some uh some that's going to be some weekend people are going to be spending with you. They love it. They cook out. You know. Uh-huh. And do you get letters about this list by any chance? Yeah, I mean, I, I get, you know, I get I get letters from the fans, and you know, when it if I start to if I open a letter and it you know starts out negative or anything, I usually toss it in the trash. Uh huh. So I don't you, need that. You don't even stick around to see no. what the person's point was. No. Nothing no. from. Uh, no. Any Coverdale page. Coverdell page, yeah, sure. That stuff, I'm, you know, that stuff falls. That stuff. Some may think that I was a little harsh on that stuff. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Most of that falls between uh, uh, sixteen and twenty-four. <laughs> I, I would think that you're being very generous with that stuff. 